Alrighty guys, welcome back to the episode here from the Back to Beta server, where we are standing right now in the middle of the arena that we built in the last episode. This is a bow PvP arena for anyone who hasn't seen it, and uh, yeah, today we're going to add some functionality to this build. Um, I'll show you actually. We're going to add things like, well, we're going to add a lot of dispensers basically that will have um, materials um, that you can use to craft arrows or armor, things like that and uh, maybe even dispense like arrows themselves and, and yeah just you know we're gonna add some functionality and some interest to this build so it's not just you know just uh, bow pvp I have this little space that I've mined out between episodes under here that I think we're gonna use um, pretty effectively to actually be able to put the redstone in so uh, yeah that's gonna be gonna be good and if you don't know, this is the second arena that we've built in our uh, stadium here, um, our stadium project. Uh, the first one was a spleef arena, which was very successful. And then, uh, yeah, now we've got this bow arena. We've got a few more to add um, in this space. But yeah, for now, we've got the functionality to add into, uh, into this one here. But before we get to that, we have to add the next mural to the outside of the arena. And again, if you don't know, these murals have been made by uh, by viewers and uh, sent to me so that I can put into these spaces here. And this next one is is uh, was made by Hands and sent to me on the Bactivator Discord. Check it out, link in the description. And this is one of the coolest ones. Like, it's so cool. And I think a lot of people agree that this one is really creative and really well done. Um, but before we get into that, I'd like to turn... Uh, um, our attention to something that has been built between episodes um, very quickly um, but I'm gonna have to sleep real quick now I want to draw attention to this build here that's been built on this hill here and you guys are probably wondering why have we not seen this build before it's just sort of come out of nowhere and uh, you didn't show us any of the progress on it and that's because I didn't build it all right I didn't build it and this thing showed up within a day like this came out of nowhere I it, one day it wasn't here and then the next it was here um, it was it was just as much a surprise to me the, as it was for you guys probably um, this was built by Ryan um, in the span of like a day uh, it came out of nowhere and it is awesome I basically I had a sign up on the top of this hill that uh, I wanted to build like a military outpost there it was a reminder to myself to build a military outpost here and uh, yeah Ryan came over and took it upon himself to just build in this area and he absolutely knocked it out of the park this looks awesome it is much better than anything I probably could have done um, and yeah it's really cool it's got a, a cool little it's got a cool design for sure and it's got so so much space inside to actually add things he hasn't done any uh, any any major detailing or any interior um, there's even just this one like sticking out to the side which I love that that's such a cool idea um, would never have thought to do that and he also nailed the placement as well and the, the perspectives. The guy just knows what he's doing when it comes to building in Minecraft. Um, but yeah, this there's a whole lot of rooms and a whole lot of passageways. Um, this is an amazing view right here um, where you can kind of see the wall, but you can get a really good view of this place. Yeah, it's it's amazing. The guy the guy popped off, and uh, I love it. There's a lot there's a lot of space to kind of work with as well. Um, but yeah, and a lot of little 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 hallways and rooms. There we go, we're up at the top now. And uh, one of my favorite places on this build actually is just over here. Um, right over here. This is an awesome spot to stand because it just has such an awesome view of the village right here. The village and then the stadium. Like it, You can really see kind of almost all of the stadium. You just missed like a tiny bit there. But this is a great way to see the whole thing plus the murals that are being added in. Like, yeah, this is awesome. So yeah, thanks Ryan. I don't know if he plans on doing any detailing, but I I probably will. Um, you know, try and make it not blend into the into the into the ground so much. But yeah, super cool build. It came out of nowhere, and uh, yeah, I love it. All right, but magically amazing appearing buildings aside, it's time to add the next mural to the wall. So let's get into it. All right, but there it is, all done and dusted. I kind of messed up recording building that. <laughs> so we don't have any like mm, I'm placing blocks montage but this looks awesome hands you absolutely nailed this one knocked it out of the park and uh, yeah it looks really cool I 
shaved down this little hill a little bit because I worry it detracts from kind of the immersion of looking at the murals. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's enough. You guys let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is a this is a really cool addition. And uh, like I said in the last episode, there's a bit of a story being told. It's morning, middle of the day, sort of evening. Maybe now it's like zoomed in. It's nighttime. There's a there's a there's a there's a there's a creeper crashing through a wall. But this one is really cool. And uh, yeah definitely has its place here. I um, I knew I wanted this one to be a little more in the center here because the color palette really matches the kind of color palette we've got going on here and I feel like just when you're down down in the village down here it's a cool like you see the colors of the ground and you kind of it kind of brings your eyes up to see more of it like up here. I don't know. I don't know if that was I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. I I knew I wanted that one there, so yeah, thanks heaps hands. This one's really cool, and it's yeah, it's starting to look really good with uh, with more of the murals in too. All right, and just a quick look on uh, on Ryan's build. Yes, very cool. Hell yeah. The more murals that get in, the better, I reckon. I mean, obviously, but like I remember I had this one in, and I was like, oh, there's like a lot of empty spaces that looked out of place, but now there's more coming in. This looks really cool. Awesome. Okay, but now on to what we're actually meant to be doing in this video. <laughs> Got on a bit of a, a bit of a side quest there. Um, the first thing I want to do is kind of work out the placement of these... What are they? The dispensers, right? Yeah, dispensers here um, in this area. So the, the idea of the dispensers are to kind of make it so that, um, you know, certain places have... Well, it, it kind of balances the game a bit because, like, if you're in the house you have a bit of an advantage in terms of the fact that you have a lot of closure, right? You've got a lot of a lot of places to kind of hide. I guess, you know, these are quite open. Doc did a good job at actually opening these up and making them uh, strategic um, and kind of fair. Um, but, you know, it, this is this is a lot more enclosed. Like, you stand in here, you're, you're not going to get hit by anyone outside, you know? Um, whereas if you're outside, you know, you're, you're, you're exposed to the elements a lot. And I want to use the dispensers to make it so that you kind of want to be outside a bit more. Um, you want to come out so that you can get the better loot. Um, inside's still going to have maybe some loot, but it's not going to be as as good, I think. Um, yeah. So, I, I mean, I also mentioned in the last episode, um, some of the loot's going to be craftable. So that's why there's a crafting table here. That was Doc's idea. Big brain, I think. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna work out the placement of these um, of these dispensers, and uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll see how we go. Aha! Uh -huh, so we've run into our very first issue. Uh, I totally forgot about the fact that dispensers in this version aren't directional; they can only be placed on their side like this. So that's gonna be an issue. That's gonna limit where we can place these dispensers because they're gonna have to be like underneath a. Uh, underneath a block like this, for example, rather than two blocks down facing up, like, into a block here like this. Hmm. I guess that means, you know, it can be under the trees or under the balls. We've got plenty of, plenty of options, but, uh, yeah, that does limit the, uh, the options slightly. Shouldn't be an issue, though. Easy solution is just to put it in, the uh, in this block here for this one, and then it'll, like, shoot out of here. Perfect. It'd be kind of cool to have some items, like, floating in the middle of the water, because then you have to you have to jump in the water as well. That would encourage you to get in the water. I kind of like that idea. Uh, just how do we do that? I'm hoping maybe if I put one like under here, it might like facing the right way. It might shoot out and like end up in the water anyway. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. I feel like this one should be. I feel like if there's one here, it shouldn't really be behind the rock because this is a really safe spot. So I feel like right here, because if someone's on the balcony there, they could snipe you, or like, you've got a lot of, you're waiting for something here, you've got a lot of places to get shot, so I think one here would be pretty good. Maybe, maybe like there. That's a, that's a good one. Okay, so let me go over the placements of these uh, dispensers. Um, and I, I kind of, my, my mindset was about where is useful for them to be and what makes you get into that area. So right now, like, this space here has a good like, uh, good space here, like, there's a reason to get into this tree, um, but there is a dispenser down here that will dispense items into the water, so, 
yes, you're coming over here and you've got a good vantage point, and you can see, like, you know, some, some good items come here, but if there's a player in there or there's a player sniping you from across here, you're not really going to want to jump in the water depending on the item. Like, I think that's, that's a good kind of balanced spot there. Um, and there's another one here, which is good, like you're super open to almost everywhere on the map, so this is a dangerous spot. I think this one will probably have the most amount of good stuff in it. Uh, there is one over here, um, underneath this block here, that'll dispense. Um, I didn't put it behind the rock because I feel like, um, you know, that's kind of OP, like you're just waiting and you can sp you can kind of hide here. Um, whereas if it's here, like you're, you're out in the open, you're having to like stay alert and uh, it could be kind of medium level loot, I guess. <clears throat> uh, I also put one under this rock here. Um, now this one, again, it sort of shoots out this front part here. Um, so you're kind of exposed to the elements a bit. Because I think if you're here, oh no, I guess you could get... Actually, I don't think you can get sniped from there because... Um, because these fences do get in the way unless they jump, I guess. So, I don't know. I, I do feel like that's balanced, though. And then there's one more underneath this rock, because there was no reason to get into this corner. Same with that one. There's not really much reason to be in these corners, so I thought I'd add dispensers here, um, which have some level of cover, but not heaps. Now, as we go inside the house, there's only two in here. There's one in this corner and one in this corner, and that's mainly to make sure you're kind of moving between here and these ones are going to have the least amount of like value so these are going to have like like flint for example like flint's going to pop out here and you're going to grab that and then maybe there'll be a stick over here and you'll grab that um and you know if you get another feather maybe you'll be able to craft an arrow you know or a couple of arrows sort of thing um so that's kind of the idea there so yeah i think these are quite balanced hopefully <laughs> um yeah it's all about the loot loot tables but now comes the time for the redstone i don't really know um, how we're gonna make this work, but we'll give it a crack. Another thought I'm having as well with the dispensers is maybe inside the house, you know, you get flint and feathers or something, but then maybe you have to come outside, for example, under these these trees here, and this is where you, it gets it drops sticks, you know. So you have to be on the move to actually collect the resources to get more arrows. I think that could be interesting. I, I'm not sure how how it's going to work, but I think that's a good, cool idea that we might have to work with or play with. Aha, uh -huh, so I think I'm at a place now that we are pretty much done with this game. I think everything is all basically ready to go. Um, the redstone in here is very simple. I decided to kind of go with something su super simple um, because I think this game is is more fun when it's a bit more simple, you know? It doesn't have to be overly complicated. Uh, now there's a lever upstairs which, um, when activated, uh, triggers this redstone clock, which when that redstone dust is connected, um, makes the, uh, all the dispensers dispense an item, um, and they'll be sort of sitting in the field ready to go, um, for when a game starts. Now, each of the dispensers in different areas have different kind of loot tables, I guess. That one's predominantly feathers. I think this one is over here. These are under some, um, some boulders in the corners of the map. So if you need feathers, this is where you sort of come. Um, inside the house, these two are inside the house. These have just predominantly sticks. So enough to actually make arrows, but it's sort of unlikely you'll get all three. So you you may have to kind of travel outside. That's that's kind of the idea of the distribution is you have to kind of move between the places if you want the different loot. Um, and it may be that uh, these ones are a bit more leather oriented. Uh, these two exterior ones here and this one's more arrow oriented here because I think arrows are probably the most valuable resource. Maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, the idea is that, you know, it's going to make you hopefully move around a bit to collect more resources. Um, as the game sort of progresses. Now as we come up here, I'll quickly show you what it looks like. Uh, in this corner is sort of the, the service hatch. Uh, we've got the item dispenser, um, so this when flicked dispenses all the items. Um, this can be reached from inside and outside, so you know if a, if a spectator is watching they can flick it and flick it off, but if a um, person inside, if it's just two people, you know you, can, you don't have to go all the way outside to get it. Um, I've also added these chests here that are sort of uh, unused items sort of going there So we want to try and preserve as much as we can because not everything is farmable in this version And then we've got bows and arrows, so I think every player is going to start with a bow and then 20 arrows um, And then you know if you sort of run out of those you, you run around and try and collect as much as you can because Sort of if you try and craft one th uh, one arrow one stick one feather and one flint they'll make um, That'll make four arrows so 
you should be pretty sweet there. Um, I also made one additional change over here to the original design, so let me come in here. Uh, if you're upstairs, so there, originally there was only one entrance and exit from this house. So if you were up here and you came to the balcony, there was no way to get out. There was no way to get out except for out there. So I worried that might have been like a way to kind of camp um, or, you know, get trapped sort of thing. So I made a way out here um, where you can, it's easy to kind of get out this side. Um, but there is actually a way to get back in as well. It is it is an entrance as well that maybe not everyone will be able to do or not everyone will know how um, how it's done or that it is even there. But there is a way actually to get in through here, which I thought was a good addition, um, a good addition to make. Okay, so with that, I think the game is just about ready to play. I have put down some red, uh, some red wool here. So this is where you kind of start, and uh, I've acquired a friend. So hopefully we can uh, we can actually play test this game with Doc, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You ready to uh, play this game? Test. Yeah. You gonna test can play I... this game with me? Yeah. Can I hide my? Can I put my stuff in a chest? Cause you're gonna kick my ass. Yeah. So we're gonna. <laughs> I don't know about that one. We're gonna use the uh, the spleef arena, like chests and beds. I think to like for this game as well, cause they're so close to each other. There's no reason not to. So. I feel like that's a good strat. There's so much stuff in here. What the heck? Hey, look how huge this sugar is in my hand. That's a lot of sugar. Okay, Damn. It's so huge. <laughs> wow, it's huge. I know. It's look so how big. big. It is, it's so big. Oh my god. It's massive. We're going to start on either end. So you can start on that side. I'll start on this side. Um, you grab a bow from the chest that says bows and arrows, which is... Well, you can't see it from in here, but there's a chest that has bows and arrows. You grab 20 arrows and a bow, and then I'm going to... And then you stand on the red wool. And then I'm going to grab... Um, I'm going to start the dispensers, and um, they're going to dispense a whole bunch of items. I don't really know how long to have the dispensers going for, so I'm going to say maybe, like, I don't know, at least one. And, uh, yeah, we'll kind of we'll kind of just see how it goes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so just wait on the red thing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna flick this lever. Oh wait, I just realized the redstone's not connected. My bad. Hang on. Because <laughs> I didn't want to accidentally fire the dispensers. Okay, now it's all primed. It's all ready to go. Let's try this out. I'm I'm excited to try this out. Okay. Okay, so there should be like six items in each dispenser space, so yeah, I guess we'll see how we go. We'll see how that goes. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, three, two, one, go. I don't know really I don't really know what the what the tactic is here. Ah. 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 Ah, uh, no. Uh, I don't really have food in here. Die! Oh, I'm out of arrows! Oh my God. Wait, there's more in the walls! No! No! <laughs> I have your stuff. Alright. GG. <laughs> GG. I'm I kinda, one heart. I totally forgot about the fact that you could, like, pick up arrows. <laughs> Uh, unused item return. I just stuffed all of the stuff in there. Smart. And we might Smart. go around to like, there's like the different item to spend. Wait, did this <coughs> one? Oh no, you collect, you must have collected the stuff from here, didn't you? Yeah. I hoarded everything. Yeah. <laughs> and there's stuff here. I didn't really think about, I didn't think adding food is kind of good. I feel like that's not very necessary. Uh, you can keep, yeah. keep your bow on you because we'll, we'll play it. We'll play a few games, I think. Alright, do you want to count us down? Alright, from three? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Go do your thing. Oh, 
<laughs> so sneaky. Sneaky boy, get back yeah. here. Where are you? Oh, I see a little head. What? You're crazy. Did I even hit you at all? No! This is bullying! Oh, what a shot. Oh, what a legendary shot. I'm actually a cracked maniac. No! No, 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 Damn it! I played the waiting game. I crafted boots. I crafted boots. Dude, I'm like a fucking shark stalking my prey. Cue the Jaws theme. I made some pretty epic shots, I feel like, there, though. I think I did, too. my leg. Oh, hell yeah, look at the boots. Booted up. Booties. Booties. Alright, what do we reckon? Do we do we need more items? I feel like that's the that's kind of the right amount of items. I feel like it's perfect. Alright. Because the games are relatively short. Yeah, they're pretty short, yeah, with only two people. Alright, I'm gonna turn it on again. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No. Okay. Alright. Round three. I'm gonna win this time. Ready? Three. Mm -hmm. Two, one, go. Ah, Sunzu, Sunzu. Oh, I actually cracked maniac shot at you. Let's go. Where are you? Hey. <laughs> Here we are again. What you doing up there? I don't know, just hanging out. How did I not kill you? Okay, the strategies are starting to come in. No. Yes. No. No, I don't have any arrows. I don't have any arrows. How do you have so many? How do you have so many? Oh, I took fall damage. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, man. How do you have so many arrows? Oh, man, I just used all of them. No, no! <laughs> How do you have so many arrows left? Oh. I had like six, and That's I keep so collecting sad. all the ones that I like walk by. Oh. Man. <laughs> this sucks. Man, oh man. <laughs> I had such a little good drop on you, too. <laughs> yeah, you did. Damn it! Aww. So sad. Alright, what? I don't know what round this is. Four? Yes. Alright, round four. Let's go. Ready? Three, mm -hmm. two, one, go. I can't hit you! Just die! Just die! What? How did you not die? What a scam! I took full damage too. I need all the resources. I need all these arrows. What a scam.
Where are you at, Cox player? I don't know. I'm everywhere and nowhere. This is kind of tense. No! No! I <laughs> ran out of arrows so quickly. Oh, this is sad. How low are you? Uh, three hearts. Oh. That's so <laughs> annoying. When we were, like, doing that fight inside, like, at the start, I just couldn't hit you. I just couldn't hit you. So sad. It really sucks to have your ping. Oh, my ping is so bad. Alright, round five. Ready? Three. Yes. Two. One. Go. Oh, what? Uh, what? How did you hit me? <laughs> I don't know. Just die. Just die. How are you hitting me? Oh, that's so <laughs> I'm dumb. Sorry. I'm sorry. I literally, I'm like aiming right at you on my screen and then all of them are just like, none of them are hitting. It's so it's sad. It's definitely, it's definitely your ping. Oh Otherwise, yeah, you'd, 100%. you'd be mopping the floor with me. Ah, uh, Sag. Well, I just have a slight advantage because I live in a more civilized country. <laughs> civilized? <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. Sorry, sorry, more developed country. I don't know about that one either. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, all right. Good, good little test. Good little test games. I think it'll be fun to see fun. like more people as well. How the strategies kind of change because I feel like when it's just us, it's like you just kind of go for each other very quickly. Mhm. Mm yeah. I don't know. All right. Okay. Well, there you guys have it. The first little test run of the mini game, and I think it went quite well overall. Um, Doc said she had a good time, and uh, I had a good time. It was kind of a bit of fun, even though I lost <laughs> every game. I think. Um, I mean, we've established my ping to the server is so much worse than everyone else's, um, and that's just a given. That's just the way it is. So I think, um, on a personal note, the way I should play is rather than trying to attack someone, wait for them to come to me. Um, I sort of thought after the fact I should have really utilized this tree space here. This would have been perfect for me um, to sort of climb up into, hide, and sort of, you know, wait until Doc had to come to me. I guess my, my strategy would have to be a camping, uh, camping strategy. But um, in terms of item distribution, I think for two players, I think that was pretty good. Maybe could have done with slightly more, or maybe even like a... A restock of items. I don't know. You guys will have to give me some uh, some ideas in the uh, in the comments. Um, I think with multiple players, it'd be a very interesting game. I'm pretty keen to to see what it'll be like to have maybe like a two v two match or even possibly even more. I think a two v two match would be very interesting um, to go up against um, and maybe incorporate armor. So like you know maybe you have to wear a gold helmet or a um, or an iron helmet or something, because, uh, yeah, like, they'll provide the same protection, but their durability is different, that's, that's the only difference, but overall, very happy with how the game went. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments, but that's, uh, basically it for, for me today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Laters!